Well, 2023, we're well into it. Uh, Happy New Year to you all. If you're just catching this particular video for the first time, uh, we took some time off. Yeah, we always do that about that this time of the year. Just to get our mind mindset right back into shape again, because, you know, um, you can get burned out doing this. It, it, you really, truly can, especially when you're doing this with a very, very tight crew. I mean, this is the kind of crew we had years ago on public access. And, uh, you know, we were doing those once or twice shows once or twice a week and you know, to get that kind of content together. Sometimes, you know, back then, because we didn't have the internet back then, um, you know, we had to do a lot of research and stuff like that, uh, you know, and to collect some of the, the video uh, tape footage and all that, it was not very easy to do. I mean, we had VHS machines, but it was not, you can go through archives and archives of stuff to pull. Today, much more easier to do, even though sometimes you get copyright strike on there and people don't understand, you know, what it is that basically, you know, there are rules and regulations that allow us, allow us to do this. If the news media can do it, we can do it as well. But once again, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, share, Thank you for those tuning in. I mean, there's a lot going on. You, YouTube has put out some new rules and regulations. We're not, it's not going to stop us. That's not going to stop us from the type of programming that we're putting to, together here. Um, you know, the subject matters. Yeah, some of them are touchy, but of course, there's always going to be touchy matters out there. We're covering these days topics that a lot of other people aren't aren't talking about really and if you could find people talking about it it's very in the rare or it's been shadow banned you know we've been noticing an uptick with some of these stories and the thing about it is it's not on the first day that we put this out several weeks will go by and you know suddenly we get a big boost on there and the reason is is that these are topics that are very important to all of us because we have been saying this for quite some time they'll go after something and it's just a prelude to go after everything else there's censorship going around the world right now people don't realize what is going on and we're here to tell you this is an issue you may you know these these are disguised as basically, uh, let's call it, let's see, disguised as cheese pizza. It's disguised as kidnappings and stuff like that. All the stuff that you hear on a daily basis, um, smug, um, you know, human smuggling, child smuggling, uh, women's, you know, they, they say, well, this is one of the reasons why this is happening. But they're not attaining to the true nature of why it is happening. They're just attacking entertainment and they just want to get rid of it uh, to, a, to appease a, a tiny base of voters out there. That basically, you know, they, they don't watch this, you know. And the thing about it is, is that when you have someone out there that says, well, I don't like this. They don't watch it. You don't have to watch it. You never watched it. Why are you complaining about it? Let everybody else watch it. It's none of your, none of your freaking business. But this came up and, you know, like I said, this is, you know, some of the things that were left over from 2022. And the next couple of weeks, we'll be going through this as we get the new stories on that. Because I know we got uh, the Ron Jeremy trial, which probably we'll, we'll see some uh, happenings going on in the next probably couple of days. Uh, same thing with a couple of other, the Sunny Stitch trial is supposed to be going into pre-trial hearings. Uh, and we got a couple of other trials from the porn industry that's moving forward now that have been delayed for quite some time now. And hopefully we won't get more delays on it. But this came up, and Xmas put this out, and this was right, right before the holidays. 
Uh, Utah Senator Mike Lee introduces bill to outlaw all porn nationwide. You know, when people out there say, well, you know, you're, you're part of the far right, this, this, and that, you don't criticize. No, here is where we go to the situation is where, where we do criticize both ends of the aisle. This is why I'm not, uh, not a Democrat and I'm not a Republican for this reason, because both parties have failed the American public. You have to remember one thing as a voter, as an American citizen, when you're voting for people out there for Congress or for mayor or president of the United States, this is a, what they call a job interview. No, not your job interview. You're interviewing them to see if they can do the job they're supposed to do that you're sending them to do to protect our constitution and the American people from those who want to take this country down. We have freedoms, we have rights, and we must maintain this to keep this Republic alive. But you get people like Mike Lee who come across with some of this, um, these bills that are just total, ridiculous bullshit that is just put up on the American public that they think they can win points on. And then we'll read this off of XBiz. Senator Mike Lee uh, introduced the Interstate Obscenity Definition Act, the IODA, a bill that will normally aim to establish a nation, national definition of obscenity but would in effect outlaw all online sexual content nationwide. The United States does in fact have a nation definition of obscenity, the Miller test. Yes, exactly. We've had this for many years since the 1970s. The Miller test has been in working order, which has been the nation's legal standard for a half century. According to the statement from Mike Lee's office, however, the Utah Senator believes that it is time to review those standards set in 1973, under which the production and distribution of sexual content has been legal in the United States. According to Lee, the Supreme Court has struggled to define obscenity and its current definition under the Miller test runs into serious challenges when applied to the internet. Echoing the language of a fellow Utah Utahian, and Mormon Republic activist Dawn Hawkins, of CEO of a powerful anti-porn lobby, NSOSE, you know, we've heard them before. Uh, Lee's bill would define obscenity within the Communications Act of 1934. Additionally, it would also strengthen an existing prohibition on obscenity by removing the intent requirement, which prohibits the transmission of obscenity to abuse, threaten, or harass someone. Lee essentially is arguing that the 1973 president should be updated for internet age by revising the law from 1934, adopting long before even the mainstream adopted television. Lee is a member of the Church of Jesus Christ Latter-day Saints, uh, which, as Exbiz reported, sees sexual content as a ploy by Satan to destroy Mormon households by tempting uh, Mormon men. Does it, let me ask you a question, folks out there. Doesn't the Mormon religion believe in mul having multiple wives? Isn't that correct? Now, I know for a fact that the Church of Jesus Latter-day Saints uh, has condemned polygamy in their church, but some of the Mormons do believe in this. And, you know, for someone, for someone out there to say, well, <clears throat> you know, we have to outlaw porn because basically it's, you know, sinful this way, it's... You know, you should look within your house before you you throw stones at a, at a glass house. Lee's office posted a one-page summary of the IODA stating that obscenity is not protected speech under, under the First Amendment and is prohibited from interstate or foreign transmission under U.S. law. Calling obscenity difficult to be defined, let alone prosecute, under the current Supreme Court test for the obscenity, the Miller test, and promising that the IODA will establish a national definition of, for, of obscenity that would apply to obscene content that is transmitted via interstate or foreign communications. Remember what I just said there. 
And we're going to get back to that in a minute. Lee proposed the redefinition of sanity would eliminate the Miller's taste references to contemporary commerce standards and applicable state laws instead of defining obscenity content as any material that t is taken as a whole appeals to the purent interest in nudity, sex, or excretion, depiction despised as representatives, actual or simulated sexual acts with the, obje the objective intent to arouse, titillate, or gratify the sexual desires of a person and is taken as a whole lacks of serious literary, artistic, political, or scientific value. Industry attorney Corey Smithersine of MyAdultAttorney.com and adult law, adult law told experts that Lee is correct that obscenity is difficult to define and even believes that exchanging contemporary community standards for national standards is not necessarily a bad idea. He notes, however, that where Senator Lee goes wrong is that the bill does not specify call for a nationwide standard. Senator Lee appears to be attempting to change the Miller versus California and is in essence overruling it, which in my opinion is unconstitutional. If the IODA succeeds and the sexual content loses its freedom of speech protections that would have stood for the last 50 years, that will open the door for government to prosecute every creator or distributor of adult content. It is not, and I'll, and I'll say this again, I'll say this very strongly. This is not only for pornography. The Miller's test, if you go back to the 1970s when the Miller test enacted, do you know what was going on? Do you know exactly what was going on? There was, there was people arrested for saying certain words. And, you know, you, you, you could look at a lot of video footage from that era. And I'm talking about people like Lenny Bruce and George Carlin, and many others who have been arrested under obscenity laws. This would be an issue not only blocking pornography, this would be blocking artistic expression, comedy, movies, anime, you know, anything that anyone declares obs obscene. The Miller's Test has been one of the best rules put out there that has protected the American public as far as freedom of speech for the many years that it's been out and has protected us from, you know, insane thoughts like this, where they say, well, we have to know what obscenity means. Who is going to be the arbiter of what is declared, what is obscene and what is not? That's why you have the Miller's test is exactly what it is. The Miller's test is the three-part test asks whether an average person applying contemporary community standards will find the works appeals on the whole to prudent interest describing sexual content in a pathetic, obsessive way and lacks serious literary, artistic, or political scientific value. And this goes for many other things that, you know, people call obscene. See, they said, well, it's because of the internet. The only thing that has truly changed in the many years of the porn industry is how you receive it. That you're getting it faster through the internet, through your computer, through your laptop, tablet, phone. It is only a communications situation that has expanded this. Now, is there porn out there that is a bit disgusting? Yes! But that's always been a situation for many years. They're all format, just, just like what we say about anime and manga. There's a little bit of this and that for everybody. Now, as far as the porn industry, there's a little bit, a little bit of this and that. Yeah, it is disgusting and all that. But it doesn't break, unless it breaks some sort of law, there's nothing wrong with it. You may disagree with it. And there's a lot, and take it from someone who's worked in the industry, there's a lot of the stuff that's out there that I disagree with, but I'm not calling for it to be banned. This is, like I said, these are the things that you have politicians looking at. And, you know, you, NOSCOS, who's the biggest one of them all, 
that has been trying to ban this from day one. And this is not day one of the internet. It's day one since they, they opened up their doors to start doing this back years ago. This is not the first time they're in, in, in this fight uh, to, to ban porn. They've been around for decades. They've, they've been throwing bills, uh, money behind politicians that are throwing bills at Congress to ban porn. Uh, they've been throwing uh, money at lawsuits and stuff. Who do you think is so, who, who do you think is put a lot of the money behind uh, suing Pornhub? It, this is one of them. This is one of the groups that are putting all that money to shut down Pornhub. And the thing about it is they try to hide it as cheese pizza. They try to hide it as, you know, child smuggling and this, this, that. But the thing about it is the true nature of the things that they're trying to fight for. This is not the place to, they need to be fighting it. And this is the lie. This is the lie within there. Now, is there cheese pizza in the porn industry? Yes. And it's illegal. Most companies will never want this to be known for this. Are there companies out there that are doing it? Yes. They have to be identified and, and taken out, but not the way that they're doing it. There's facts. And then there's evidence when you have a company that accepts uploads of videos. And we're not only talking Pornhub, we are talking about YouTube. We're talking about Twitter. We're talking about Instagram. We're talking about Facebook that basically this stuff is uploaded to. Why isn't anyone going after Mastodon right now? We know that the cheese pizza is going on over at Mastodon, but nobody is talking about it. There are only like a couple of articles that just came out recently that has been slamming Mastodon for having that on their system. Is there porn on, on YouTube? Yes, there is. Is there porn on Instagram? Yes. Is there porn on TikTok? Yes. Now, is there cheese pizza? Some of that? Yeah, there are scattered stuff around there. It's not going to be out in the open. Is there some of it in the, the porn sites like X video stuff like that? Yes, there is. But the thing about it is, once you identify it and you get rid of it, it's gone. But the thing about it is there are going to be those who are going to try to re-upload it multiple times. That's with any video, especially in the adult sites, you will find, say like a, uh, let's, let's give you an example. Uh, if you're talking a scene out of, uh, say like Debbie does Dallas, you might find about 20 pages of Debbie does Dallas in there. Of that, you might find about two, do about a dozen, two dozen of the same scene cuts thrown in there. Why? Because people still uploading it because they get, it, it might be uh, taken down due to copyright. And then someone else uploads it and something else uploads. And it's the same thing with the anime. Anime goes through this as well in some place. Some people upload, you know, full episodes of anime online. And it gets taken down and it gets re-uploaded under a different title and stuff like that. You have to give it to some of these uh, social media sites. They have a hard job trying to take some of this down. Now, the thing about it is other sites like what we are on right now, YouTube, you know, they're not doing enough. They're not doing enough because they're basically paying attention more to what we are saying calling misinformation and this, this, and that, you know, voter election fraud, and the, you know, they're worried more on that than actual, the actual major issues that are going on there. I could sit down and find porn very easily with the stroke of a key by one particular subject matter and not even adding the word porn in it. I could type in naked yoga and find, a, you know, adult related material in there. So comment below, let me know your thoughts on the Miller's test and this bill that Mike Lee is introducing, which I totally disagree with. You're, you're trying, and this is not the only politician that is trying to do this. There are other politicians that are trying to strike down the Miller's test. They say it's anti, 
it's it's that it's out of time and stuff. It should be changed. No, it should not never be changed. This is what got, got us in trouble with the housing crisis. They eliminated an old bill that put protections up for the consumer, removed it, and then the housing crisis happened. So remember that. So comment. Let me know how you feel. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, share. We'll see you on the next video. Happy New Year. Thank you for tuning in and bye-bye now. Thank you.